Hello, my name is Venkatesh and I am an applications engineer here at Maths Integrated. Today, I am going to show you how to interface Maths 7360 with a microcontroller and I am going to demonstrate a sample code and a schematic. Nowadays, interfacing the key switches to the microcontroller is one of the most common application in embedded system design. A traditional approach involves connecting the key switches directly to the microcontroller and this increases the complexity of the code. Well, Mathsim has a solution for this. Math7360 is a I2C interfaced key switch controller which can manage up to 64 switches and a rotary encoder and communicates to microcontroller through I2C interface. Please go through the data sheet in the following link for more detailed operation of Math7360. Well, before going further, let us have a look at the basic schematic that interfaces Maths 7360 with a microcontroller and the key switches. Here what we have got, the schematic of Maths 7360 and its interface with microcontroller. I am using Maths 32625 Pico board in this case. You can use this as a starting point if you would like to develop a schematic for this interface. Now let us go with the software code. We have developed the sample code for the interface of Maths 7360 with Maths 32625 Pico board which can be downloaded from the link below. Now let us have a quick tour through the code. This is a pretty straightforward algorithm. Initially we have configured the registers that are required to monitor the key switches and rotary switch through I2C. This is a right operation. Once this is done, the following code is reading the Maths 7360 through I2C which tells the status of key switches and rotary encoder. Here I have a sample setup of the schematic I have shown you earlier with 5 key switches. I have programmed the Pico board with the code shown and the output can now be seen on the terminal. Well, now you can see the output on the serial monitor. In this case, I have connected the 5 key switches and as I press them, this window shows the status of the key switch which is pressed. If you have further questions, check out the link below. Look out for my next video where I am going to interface the Maths 7360 with a microcontroller and this time using Arduino IDE. Until then, keep up the innovation.